everybody and welcome back to my channel. I want to talk about a new action camera we got in. It's called the Psyonix Aurora Night Vision Camera. Let's jump right into it. So we're not going to do a full in-depth review. We're going to do just pretty much a hands-on and my quick impressions of it. I just don't have the time to do a full review, guys, and I do apologize about that. It's just I'm just so busy with uh, my photography that it's just just don't have the time for it. But again, this is the Psyonix Aurora Night Vision Camera. It is one of the few action cameras that I've ever seen that has not only daytime capabilities but also nighttime capabilities as well. You can shoot 0.9 megapixel stills. You can shoot 720p video at 60 FPS, 30 FPS, and other frame rates. You can do time lapse. You have playback and you have Wi Fi capability with your smartphone as well. It all works very seamlessly and has a great um, UI. This camera also has GPS functionality, an accelerometer, and a compass. Plus, the lens is a 16 millimeter lens with a 1.4, 2.0, and 5.6 selectable aperture. Some of the other side features worth mentioning would be the battery, which has two hours of battery life on it. Also, it has a, um, it runs off a micro SD card slot, which you can use up to a 32 gigabyte SD card, which isn't a huge um, card, but it's enough to get pretty much the videos that you want. It also is waterproof up to about three feet, I believe. So uh, that's waterproof IP67 if you want the number. Now, based on the specs that I just mentioned, you'd probably think that this action camera is not too powerful in comparison to the most recent GoPro or other action cameras in the same class. But remember, we're not talking about just a daytime action camera here. We are talking about a full waterproof night vision camera, which is really, quite frankly, night and day in comparison to other action cameras out today. As we continue through the video, you're going to see dash cam footage both during the day and at night, and I use daytime settings and also twilight settings to get all of these shots. In particular, with the nighttime footage, I find it very fascinating because it, it's not just night vision that you're seeing, you're actually seeing color night vision, which is not too common in most night vision cameras. Now this camera does have monochrome recording in night vision, meaning you can either have shades of green, which is what's more commonly seen in night vision, or you can have uh, monochrome uh, gray style. But I just love the color. I, I, I didn't record any gray style, and I didn't record any of the, uh, the shades of green, but um, I just, I don't know, I guess I was just so, so enamored with the colored night vision. I just had to capture it. What I've also done as well is I've also taken some time-lapse footage and right really quickly you'll see some time-lapse footage here of my backyard and I basically shot eight hours of time-lapse footage in the back. Now you're probably going to ask yourself how I did that on only a two-hour battery. Well I actually plugged in a, um, a battery backup, a battery core and to the camera and that allowed me to record throughout the entire night continuously without any stoppage. So I'm naturally a wedding photographer by trade, if you didn't know that, and I love being able to take different cameras with me just to play around with while I'm not shooting professionally, of course, and um, I absolutely had to bring the Aurora with me. I took some video footage, uh, not only in night mode, but in twilight mode as well. I took some stills, which I thought turned out fantastic. Um, even some of the dance video footage that I got. This room was very, very dark. The only lighting that there was was, of course, the up lighting along the walls and the lighting coming from the DJ. And so it was very dark in that, in that place. And normally I would have to use off-camera flash or some sort of external lighting to kind of light the dance floor. With this Aurora camera, I was able to capture almost everything in crisp, just awesome color. And it was so much fun. So um, if, any, if Aurora does anything right, it's definitely making the experience um, and the video output really worth its time. In the end, I'm very happy with the Aurora camera. You know, of course, I would always love to have 1080p or 4K video footage. I would always love to have, you know, stills that are larger than 0.9 megapixels. That's really not uh, huge megapixels to use, but all of the, that footage and the stills, they can all be used on social media because social media really doesn't need that, uh, that high resolution to really uh, capture your attention. So I think that in my opinion, 
that just being able to have this camera to be used at night in the darkness that there is, is really quite something else. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys like this video, I appreciate it. Um, please like and subscribe to me down below. And if you have a comment, please mention to me. Tell me what you think about this footage. Tell me what you'd like to see next with the Aurora camera, and I'll see if I can do it. I've got the time. Until then, see you next time.